Hello and welcome to CedarEnterprises.com. My name is Matthew Zupan and I'll be guiding you through the tutorial on how to install a WordPress platform on your web hosting site. This guide is to walk you through the steps of a cPanel installation of WordPress and after we're done with that we are going to be continuing on with our tutorial series on how to upgrade from 2.9 to 3.0 which is the new WordPress that will be coming out shortly in the next couple weeks. The first thing that you want to do is to open up your cPanel, log in, and come to this page right here. You'll see all kinds of buttons. We want to scroll down until we find the button that says Fantastico Deluxe. We're going to click on that. And in the main panel of Fantastico, you'll see all different kinds of content management, of e-commerce platforms that you can install in your hosting account if you have the right hosting account. You can install uh, Joomla or Mambo or Zoops. Uh, today we're going to be installing WordPress so we're just going to click right here under blog. Now I want to take a moment while that's uh, loading up to point out that WordPress is no longer just a blogging platform. It is being used by businesses to create business style websites and we're going to be talking about that in another tutorial. A WordPress based platform is one of the most dynamic types of platforms that you can build your website business or personal blog upon and we'll talk about that in another tutorial. Right now we're just very simple. You've got a new installation button right here in the middle it tells you what version you're installing. We're going to be installing 2.9.2. There are no other WordPress installations here. In our last tutorial, we learned how to create a subdirectory or a subdomain on cPanel. And we're going to use that same subdomain here and not put the WordPress underneath our main blog setting, but we're going to use our WordPress subdomain. So we want to change that from the drop down menu. The WordPress subdomain we created. We're going to leave this blank because that will create your WordPress platform on the index directory, the root directory for that domain. Under your admin access data, you want to put in something like, it's not recommended that you put in admin. Uh, what is recommended is you create a unique name to let you know that you are the admin. In this case, we are going to, we're just going to put in WP theme. And so whoever is the administrator, the chief administrator of your platform, that's what you're going to log in with. And then we're going to create a password. Now passwords in WordPress can be, uh, I prefer eight digits at least mix up your numbers and your letters. You can put in a couple of special characters. This creates a very high secure environment, very difficult to hack into. And then you can put in a nickname. If you don't put anything here, it will use your admin name as your nickname. Um, I don't generally go by that, so what we're going to do is we're just going to put in ML Zupon. Now I like to use, I like to have my email address for my administrator the same as the top name of my uh, admin this is just for demonstration purposes for a site domain name what we're going to do is because this is about WordPress about everything about WordPress WordPress themes WordPress plugins uh, the new WordPress 3.0 that will be coming out soon and like I said we're gonna have a tutorial on that so stay tuned for that we're just gonna put everything about WordPress and then under description you can leave this blank once you get into the administration face of your WordPress you can add a description later you generally won't need it there's gonna be other things that, that you're gonna fill in to uh, make a title and things like that for your WordPress so we're just gonna leave that blank right now and we're just gonna click install these are the only things that you need to do okay step one make sure you're installing on the right domain name. 
Step two, leave this blank if you're using it as your root directory. Now, if we were putting it on this first one, then we might want to put something like, and we're just creating a blog to our existing website that's on this hosting server, I might put in blog and then put a forward slash after that and it will create a new directory with all of this. We're not going to do that, we're going to leave that blank. So step one, make sure you're on the right domain name that you want to install. Step two, leave this blank. Step three, add admin access and a password. Step four, make sure that you have your proper email filled out here in case there's uh, someone who has an administration question you know they come to your website and they want to ask a question about something you can put in an optional right here site name and optional and optional description then press install that's it boom 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 you're going to get one more screen that asks you to verify the data you're choosing to install it here if, if everything is okay we're going to click final installation and we have just installed WordPress on a domain name. Now if I want to take a look at my site I will open up a new browser and type in wordpress.websitedesigns.biz and there you have everything about WordPress now notice that this was what we put in for the the name of our WordPress theme. This is what it looks like. Pretty boring. Not much there. In our next tutorial we'll take a look at the back end, our administration area, and see exactly what is underneath the hood, how we can change this section, and then we're going to do an installation of 3.0 and look at the default picture of what 3.0 looks like and take a look at underneath the hood of that. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please make some comments below. My name is Matthew Zupon once again with CetaEnterprises.com. Thank you.